What is going on, you guys? It's your guy, Senpai Rai, and the Eternal Snowflake Christmas Festival has just opened up. But so have all these other banners, the Sound of the Witch, but of course, the Source of Power. Rotanya has finally gotten her own specific banner, and of course, we are getting it much sooner than as predicted by the KR timeline, and it's a 3% chance to obtain a FES unit, or a um, SSR unit, I should say, and we need Rotania. She's amazing. Hersey, good. Oh, she gets an awakening. Vivian, God, so many of her. Diana, almost six star. Work in progress, but I have so many of Vivian that I could almost awaken her when she gets hers, but I need Rotania. Not even joking a little bit. Now, a lot of people think that Rotania is well, not worth it, just because she has a high 20 cost, but think of her as a sweeper unit, everybody, and what I mean by that is, you use her in the very back of the line, almost, that way she can just clear out the enemy, I mean, she's an AoE unit, her regular attacks do column damage in a row, and whenever, she, her, well, her little niche is, whenever, um, whenever, uh, Okay, here we go for the second pull. Sorry, I'm a little bit distracted. But essentially, every enemy, besides the partner, that's on the field, she gets a 7% increase in damage. And damage scales a lot better than attack in this game. Very important. So, let's hope we get her right now. God, I need to luck set this banner. I do have enough to pity, and I'm willing to go into pity as well. But... Oh my god, I'm so cursed. Uh, if it was possible to obtain Karaya from this banner, I swear to god it would have been her. I mean, that's another character that's pretty much awakened. So, I wasted my one freebie when it came to um obtaining a 40% chance face card banner unit. Did not capitalize on it. Pulled a Vivian. It's all good. But, uh, okay. Back to Rotania. Pretty much, okay, at 5 star, she gains an additional 3% crit rate for every enemy also that's on the field. So, again, after you get her to 5 star, she will obviously have the 7% damage increase per enemy, and then she gains a 3% crit rate increase per enemy as well. So, again, use her close to the back of the line, because how many times have... You uh, ran through all your characters and all of a sudden you're waiting forever and a day because you're out of units to drop. So if she's in the back of the line and the enemy team is getting really stacked at any point, then just wipe them because she will get a crit and a damage increase the more the enemies start stacking up. And if you drop a Vivian in front of her, well... She'll get a uh, 9 reduction as long as Vivian's 5 star and a 6 reduction if she's below that, so she's very manageable. But think of her as a sweeper unit and let's... Yes! yes. Come on, I needed that. Would've been nice if I got her on the second... Oh my god! I was gonna say the second pull, but I'll take 2 and 1. 2 for the price of 1. God... Damn it, that's amazing. Thank you. Ooh, one more time. <laughs> Can't help myself, everybody. Uh, better than expected. Better than expected is where I'm going to stay on that note. And, oh, what's going on, Enforcers? Oh, yeah, I did. I didn't even get the banner for the Enforcers yet. I don't know if I said that yet. I did manage to forge them from shards. I did. These are my available banners. Well, minus the uh, ones from the Christmas festival. <laughs> I feel like every other banner up to has like a Yuffie or Karai or Vivian or... Uh... So, <laughs> let's lens this girl all the way up. Uh, so, so, so what you're saying is I, I obtained a, a copy of you, I feel that. Okay, okay, okay. Let me reorient myself. Here we go. Uh, God. I was, I, I just got Kasumi to 6 star, level 240 last night. And, yeah, I'm, I'm in dire need for, um, soul dust right now. That's the thing. 
So that's what fast equip looks like. We can definitely do better on the weapon. Oh, this game just keeps giving me um these staffs of hope. Not complaining because it nah, that's as far as DPS goes, that's the best Sork weapon right there. Now, mm, let me show you real quick what I was talking about earlier at four star where I have her. She gets a plus fifty percent attack increase and increase to her basic HP by twenty percent. And over here at five star lens, right here, she gets insight. Which here it is. You she gets an increase in crit rate by three percent for each enemy partner in battle. So the leader does not count. Keep that in mind, you guys. And for the tribute bonus, it's pretty basic. It's just uh, an increase um, in basic attack by twenty percent. And of course, at six star, she gets energy impact right here, and that essentially increases crit rate by thirty five percent when attacking so she's a crit monster that does extra damage the heavier the enemy's board is and of course the very standard uh plus 15 percent special skill increase for the attribute boost but she is the highest costing unit thus far in the game i think the enforcers are second place at 19 but uh Think of her as a sweeper, almost at the very end to just wipe everybody. Now let's examine other pieces of armor that will benefit her, in my opinion. Does this one go Sork? Nope. I do love my Reflect builds. <laughs> Look at Vivian. She's got the um, um, Emerald Heart and the Gentleman's Poise double Reflect. Yeah. But again, the Staff of Hope, and this is what it looks like maxed out right now the witch's boots would be a oop, the witch's boots would be a nice addition because they give the uh four percent um or at that level a higher percent you can use the cursed sword you can uh it's good it, it, it's good witch's dance boots here again did i i don't know if i went over these did i go over the witch's dance boots or angel dance boots does not matter does not matter the bloody shirt would also be a good rage increasing device to equip to her as you see and of course all these scales so bear all that in mind everybody hmm what else what else what else and you see i love my reflect builds and i even have the ghost lamp along with the gentleman's poison emerald heart but the go boots again Let's see. No, couldn't do the go boots. Angel. Yeah, I think I already went over the angel stance boots. Of course, you can't fit in the knight's dress boots. Uh, how about the butterfly rattan? Mm, nope. Tech and um summoner. Ah, now this would be good. Well, this is the generically amazing. I want to proc my skill set faster, but I can't equip this until I get it. It'll pretty much to, um, close to max. The Divine Crystal would be a nice, um, also a nice addition, giving, um, mm, giving your leader survivability, but, uh, Jeweled Hairband, increase the basic stats, which are good, and, uh, resistance to stun, but, yeah, I would probably just go with the, um, Phoenix sunglasses, you know, that way you could get her AoE to proc as much as possible, especially if that is your last ditch effort board wipe. Or, of course, you can go with, um, you could go with a whole bunch of options, depending on how you would like to build her. And you saw I had Kasumi, how I wanted to build her was, she's my vampire. She has the swaying wine glass, and she has the nightmare hunter. Now, what background should we choose? This would be a cool one. But let's go with Destruction, because she is the goddess of destruction. That's at least who we have just obtained right this second, everybody. So it's about that time. Congratulations to everybody that went in on the banner and obtained this unit. Again, she is one of the most amazing characters in my opinion just because she has a very specific role her role is back of the line board wiping last ditch effort time to win everybody's gotta go that's how i want to play it that's how i want to roll 
everybody gone. <laughs> everybody <laughs> melted. You know. Anywho, just some uh, final thoughts on that. Whole, um, yeah, the, my thought process behind Rotania. So, on that, I'm going to close the video. Again, thank you for everybody tuning in. Again, this has been your guy, Senpai Rai. And I'm out, you guys. <laughs>